Hi. In our today's class, we're going to be looking at how to add and subtract decimal numbers. This, what are decimal numbers? Decimal numbers are a set of numbers with a decimal point. As you can see here, we have 234.58. This decimal point makes this number a decimal number. Now, when we have a decimal number, decimal number always has three parts. Now we have the whole, the whole part. This is the whole part. Any number that falls on the left hand side is the whole part. And uh, after the decimal point, any number that falls after the decimal point is the decimal parts and this is the decimal point the center so arranging these digits knowing how to arrange them matters a lot now let's look at the first example while to add this set of number before you add it the best way to get it right without any error is to first and foremost introduce your decimal point Indicate your arrow. Now, any number that falls on this whole part, you start arranging it from right to left. For example, this one here, I have four, three, and two. Then, after the decimal point, you arrange from left to right the direction of the arrow. You have five and eight. So coming to the second set of number, you also introduce a decimal point, follow the direction of this arrow, you're going to have 7, 2, 1, 1. Then going this way, the decimal part, you're going to have 0, 3, and 8. Now the last set of number, still introduce a decimal point. Going this way, we have 0, 2, 0, and 1. And going to the right hand side, we have 3, 0, 1. Now you can add. You can add starting from the right hand side. This way. 8 plus 1 is 9. 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 plus 0 is still 11. You're not going to write the 11, you write 1. Move 1 to the next column. 5 plus 0 is 5 plus 3, 8 plus this one, 9. The decimal point. 4 plus 7 is 11. Plus 0 is still 11. You have 1. You move 1 to this column. 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 2, 7. 7 plus this one here, you have 8. Then here you have 2 plus 1, which is 3. And then 3 plus 0 is 3. Now 1 plus 1 is 2. This is our final answer. Now coming to the second example. You still make use of this format. First and foremost, introduce your decimal point, then follow the arrow this way from right to left. Remember the point decimal point. You have five, four, and two. Then after decimal point, you have four, two, and five. Then the second set of number we have. Three, the decimal point first and one and after decimal point we have two two one now since this is subtraction you introduce your sign your rule five minus one is four two minus two is zero four minus two is two the next thing is your decimal point then five minus three is two 4 minus 1 is 3. Then these two, you bring it down because there is no any number here.
for it to subtract anything from, so you bring it down. And here is our final answer. I hope you understand it. Thank you.